absolutely touching ceremony. It's very impressive. I mean, and although the format is quite formal, right? There are these traditional steps and parts to the ceremony, the stories and the songs, the music, it's all anything but formal. It's very uh, touching, very human. And of course, this year, there's this added theme to uh, the the event, uh, the theme of resilience, of resistance, be it uh, taking up arms to fight against oppression or to keep up the spirits and keep positivity alive. Now, as you said, yes, we heard speeches from uh, the prime minister, the president. We heard the stories of the survivors. There are um, many high-level guests present here at the event. They're uh, leaving behind me, as you see. But one special guest uh, for the first time uh, was here uh, this year, the crown prince of Iran, who's been in in exile for 40 years, Reza Pahlavi. I caught him on his way when he was arriving here, and I asked him why he chose to come and why now. Let's take a listen to what he said. It's always been uh, my goal to tell the whole world that what you hear from the Iranian regime is not what the Iranian people actually believe. This regime does not represent the Iranian people. My compatriots are proud of their history, a history that dates back 2,500 years when Cyrus the Great helped free Jewish slaves and helped rebuild their temples. It's a biblical relationship that our two countries have had over centuries. And today, when we have a regime that denies that the Holocaust ever occurred, it was my duty to be here representing my fellow compatriots to honor the victims of the Holocaust and pay my respects to this nation and its people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So he said it was his duty. He felt it was his duty to be here to honor uh, the victims of the Holocaust. And the importance of a ceremony like this uh, is not small. A new report from the Anti-Defamation League and um, in, in conjunction with the Tel Aviv University shows that the number of incidents, anti-Semitic uh, anti-Semitic incidents, uh, have, has, has been on the rise for the past year in the U.S. and in Europe. So unfortunately, it really seems that a ceremony like this, an event like this, to remember what happened and remind the world uh, not to repeat history is unfortunately as relevant today as it's ever been. All right, uh, Bianca Zanini there at Yad Vashem in Jerusalem. Thank you for that, Bianca.